Ah, <laughs> Holly Pierce from Teach Cuba. And here I am back with another. Uh, now, you know, I had a little bit of a dilemma in, in deciding whether this would be a vintage scuba episode or a scuba tech tip. Because there are a lot of, a lot of divers still use these self-inflating BCs. What's a self-inflating BC? Well, if you watched the previous vintage episode, not the previous episode, but the previous vintage episode about BCs, you would have seen I talked about self-inflating BCs. This is a BC. It looks like an old-style horse collar BC, doesn't it? Yeah. Except, look, it's got a scuba tank on the back with a valve on. That's right. This, you don't need a scuba tank. Snorkelers could use this. That's right, quite common. Snorkelers could use this because off you would go with your BC and you could orally inflate it over here. This mechanism, this one actually has a, a, a mechanism so you can attach it to your tank as well if you wanted to. A little bit of overkill there, but not a bad idea in case your small tank ran out. And it was a buoyancy compensator. Where you go. And if you needed to compensate, put some air in, letting air out was easy, air in, then you just reach down and turn the knob. And that air would then fill the buoyancy compensator right from that little tank, you see? It's pretty slick. It has a purge valve, an overpressure valve, actually, but you could use it as a, as a dump or purge valve by pulling on this knob here. And so this, this, was, uh, this was another model. My point to all this is that these power inflate or self-inflating buoyancy compensators were quite common. This was a big brand company, Scuba Pro made this BC. Actually, don't make it anymore, but it still is a good BC and it's still used. I have several more like this. Now, here's another one. Yeah, this, this is another one made, made, made by Spiro Technique. Now, Spiro Technique is, is, for all intents and purposes, is U.S. divers or Aqualung in Europe. It's the same company. It started at the same time, and I'm not sure if they're still owned by the same corporation, but it's the same company. So this is, uh, if you like, call it a U.S. divers. Self-inflate B. How do I know it's a self-inflate? I know because of the tank on the bottom. Sure, there's a scuba tank down there. I don't think this one is. Oh, this one has air in it. Well, let's see what happens here. So this is brand new. That's why it has air in it, Kevin. Look at that. It's even got the warranty and instruction tag on there. It's got a inflate, deflate, whistle, and a dump valve, cord. This, oh, this is, this is a class model. You do it somehow like that. And the BC inflates. You want to dump the air, you pull the dump valve, out it comes. So again, another self-inflating BC made by a big brand name company. Brand spanking new. Do I have another one? Oh, I have one more here. This particular model is well known. This was an extremely well known model made by Nemrod, a Spanish company. Nemrod products uh, were very, very popular in the 70s and the 80s, uh, made in Spain and, uh, and sold all over the world. But it's strangely enough, for some reason, they were very popular in North America too. They had beautiful two hose regulators, a one hose regulator, spear guns, Ooh, lots of spear guns, mass snorkel fins, and they also made BCs. And this is their self inflate BC model. Does it have air in it? A little bit. This was unique. Kevin, I don't know if you can see there, but this, there's a push button on it. A little bit unique. Same little bottle along the bottom and you filled these bottles up the same way off your scuba tank and there you go. One more to show you. One more. I want to show you this because this is brand new in the bag. I've had this for quite a while. It's made by a fairly well-known company that produces valves of various sorts called AP valves. And they call this their buddy. <laughs> and uh, brand spanking new in the bag. In fact, I'm more than happy to sell this to some of you guys out there that are still using these. Uh, and and you'd be interested then give me a holler. Just said easy. There you go. Brand spanking new, beautiful BC dump valve, pocket in the front, uh, all the snaps and the clips. It has a power inflate mechanism. You can attach it to your tank, which is probably smart. The little bottle may not last a long time. Inflate. You can breathe from this. It's a regulator style. Everything's on there. And of course, the, uh, the essential uh, bottle on the back for it. Does this one have air, Kevin? Do you know? No, this one does not. A little wee bit of air in it just to keep the bottle working well. But this is a brand, a beautiful, beautiful brand new BC hose and everything. It even has a clean out plug. Boy, these folks are smart. You see there, Kevin, what that is? So it's a big opening down here at the end. You can, and you can fill it with water, rinse it out, and put it back in. Just a beautiful big BC. Point is that these self-inflating BCs are not necessarily just for vintage diving. I'm putting this into my vintage diving playlist because the concept is old and the old fences and so on uh, 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 are vintage but just to let you know that sometimes a vintage equipment 
It's still made and still used today. I know some of my European viewers are looking at this and saying, hey, I'd like to buy that. I use one every day. <laughs> anyway, there you go. A little bit of information about self-inflating BCs. Maybe you're wondering what that title is all about. Now you know. Alec Pierce, Vintage Scuba. Talk to you again soon.